Hello everyone, I'm Joe Zagacki and welcome to Hurricane Game Day with men's head basketball coach Frank Haith and Josh Darrow. They join me in just a second. And coming up on the show, we'll introduce you to this year's squad. We'll take you onto the court and into the locker room with everybody's favorite segment, Unlimited Access. And we take you basket bowling with the team. Don't go anywhere. Hurricane Game Day starts right now. Gotta cut harder. Come on, AT. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Hurricane Game Day with University of Miami head coach Frank Keith. I'm Joe Zgacki. Thanks for joining us on our first show of the year. And this season, also joining me on the set is my analyst on the radio, Josh Darrow, joining us as well as we take a look at the Hurricanes basketball season with head coach Frank Haith. Coach, good to see you. Welcome back to your show. Hey, thank you. <laughs> Glad to be here. All right, season is off to the start. We've had some uh, great wins, some tough losses, some tough games, very close games. But let's talk about the team. It's a young squad, a lot of freshmen and sophomores that are playing extremely hard. Yeah, I'm very encouraged by this team. Uh, you know, Joe, we, we do have a young team, but this team has been through a lot. You know, the young guys last year played uh, through a tough year in terms of just they got a lot of playing time. But this team is, has some good wins, and, uh, but it's a long season. Coach uh, Malcolm Grant, you know, uh, he had his first year uh, playing a year ago coming off the bench. This year he's been starting. You were very proud of the work he did in the offseason, uh, and certainly we've seen that contribution on the court. There's no question about that, Josh. He's playing lights out right now. And, uh, but he, he had a tremendous uh, summer, a tremendous fall where he just uh, committed himself completely to developing his game and uh, really proud of him. Coach, a guy that's been a, a real dynamic conductor for you uh, last year and, and this year as well, from New York, a sophomore, Duran Scott. Yeah, Duran's one of our leaders. Uh, there's no question that he, you know, we're going to go as far as he takes us. Uh, you know, he's our point guard. Um, he's still developing. Uh, and I think, um, you know, this team looks to him to, to, to help us get us going. To have, um, to have those two guards in your backcourt, guys that can play make, guys that can score, guys that can shoot. They certainly brought a lot of added dimensions to your team this year. Yeah, you know, you, look, you go back to last year, both those guys had over 100 assists, and both those guys were double-figure scorers, and I think they'll do the same this year. Uh, I think Malcolm probably lead us in scoring, but there's no, no question that they can play make. Uh, I mean, they can, they can help set up their teammates, but they can also score. A guy that emerged again at the end of last year has played pretty well for you this year. Nine double-doubles, Reggie Johnson. Yeah, and Reggie's getting better and better. Uh, he's, a, he's a young man that I think has really worked hard to, to develop his game. Uh, you know, he came here weighing 350 pounds. He's now close to 300. So uh, he's, got a, he's still got a ways to go, yeah. but we're really excited about where he's at. No question about that. And this year's squad does feature talented players from, a, from across the country. No need for me to tell you who they are. Here's a closer look at who the players are and where they are from. Hi, my name is Adrian Thomas, graduate senior from Pember Pines, Florida. Hi, I'm Eric Swope from North Hollywood, California. I'm a small forward um, freshman and I'm majoring in business management. I'm Julian Gamble, junior forward from Durham, North Carolina. Hey, I'm Malcolm Grant. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. I'm a junior and I play point guard for the University of Miami. Hi, my name is Gary Adams from Apex, North Carolina. I'm majoring in sports administration and I'm shooting guard. Hi, how you doing? I'm Dequan Jones. I'm a junior. I'm majoring in political science and I'm from Stone Mountain, Georgia. So how you doing? I'm Duran Scott, point guard from University of Miami and I'm from Bronx, New York. Hi, I'm Rafael Akajuri. I'm from Lagos, Nigeria. I'm a freshman. I'm a power forward for the University of Miami. Hi, I'm Reggie Johnson. I'm from Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Sophomore on the court, junior in the classroom. Uh, hey, I'm Ryan Brown from Savannah, Georgia. I'm a shooting guard, and I'm majoring in sports administration. Hi, my name is Ron Quigtar. I'm from Skyway, Washington. I'm a junior, and I'm majoring in business management. Also on this year's squad, Trey McKinney-Jones, Kenny Kaji, and Justin Heller. Coach, uh, your team plays hard on the floor, off the court, 
you've got some entertainers, you've got some great personalities, and they are a fun group to be around. They are. I think obviously, I think we have a couple of segments here where you get a chance to get to know our guys and the basketball and and a couple of uh, things we do with our team where you'll get a chance to see that personality. And uh, it is a fun group, and I think that makes it fun for us as coaches, uh, knowing that these guys are, in terms of having an experience with them off the court, is, is very healthy. You also have a pretty diverse group in terms of where you've uh, recruited these kids from. Uh, you have kids here locally. You've had kids here locally before, but you've also expanded your recruiting search and, you know, into Atlanta and North Carolina, and obviously, as we saw with Durant and Malcolm, up to New York. Yeah, and I think our recruiting always starts in Florida. That's the foundation of our recruiting. Uh, but the beauty of the University of Miami is that I think it's a world in terms of university that we will attract kids from all over the country and uh, we've done a good job of that and there's some areas that we're, we have some strengths uh, North Carolina being one and and the East Coast also being another so uh, we gotta we can tap into those areas for our recruiting. Coach uh, the chemistry is good with your team they represent uh, you and the school very well and I also know you're proud of the way they go to class they've all graduated in your six years here so far everybody's graduated. Yeah we're very proud of that you know, obviously the winning is, is important but that's probably one of the things I'm most proud of is the fact that, you know, our kids are student athletes and they come here to, to go to school and, and play basketball. And, um, but we've done a good job with that. Our staff's done a good job. We've got a great support system here to help our young men get through uh, school here. I don't know, maybe people may walk them through real briefly uh, what it's like to be a student athlete, to take on all those responsibilities, because a lot is asked of them in the classroom and a lot is asked of them on the court as well. Yeah, and, and it is very difficult. We, we're a two-semester two sport, uh, which, uh, a lot of uh, teams on campuses, they compete one semester. We compete in the fall, we also compete in the spring, and the bulk of our comp competition is in the spring where we're traveling a lot and they're having to keep their studies up and we have study hall on the road, but they do miss some class time. So it's very difficult for them to keep up with their work, but they do a great job of that. All right, it's the uh, first show of the year, so don't go anywhere because we have a lot coming up for you. Plenty more left on our plate when we come back. Everybody's favorite segment, Unlimited Access, will take you onto the court and into Coach Hate's locker room. That's next right here on CSA. Welcome back to Hurricane Game Day here on CSS. If you don't know by now, well, this is my favorite segment. Here is your first inside look at the Miami Hurricanes men's basketball team in this week's Unlimited Access. All right, now let's go get loose. Come on. Come on. Effort and energy. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. It's simple. Let's make it a dog fight, okay? Let's make it a dog fight. Make your teammates better. How do you do that? How do we make our teammates better? Help defense. I want more guys taking charges. I want somebody to go in there and get a loose ball, to get an offensive rebound, get us another possession. Share the ball. Great, sh good shot, great shot. Be, be unselfish. And let's talk on defense, like we said today. You don't have many of these opportunities left. Vision yourself doing something great to help us win tonight. Okay? Let's go have some fun. Together on three. One, two, three. Together. Push it front to Rachel. Drops it off the glass and good. Great feed by Duran Scott. Who celebrates the assist? Malcolm Grant on the drive, high up off the glass, no good. Johnson the rebound and scores from the left side. 20 to 6, Miami. Richie Jackson! Three-pointer on the way, in and out. Rebound to Richie Johnson, had it, gets it right back. Johnson rips it away from Nelson and scores off the glass. Just ripped it away from Nelson and scores again. Gregory Thomas, he's going to take the three-pointer. Good! Gregory hey, Thomas, his third three-pointer of the night. Scott 
He'll take the three-pointer. Yes, sir! A three from straight on. 53 to 25. Scott on a dashing drive all the way to the rim. He scores. Let's don't give him anything. No, no cheap buckets. Man, they got, I don't know what they got. That's 27 points. I bet you 10 of them were cheap buckets. They, they would really have 17 points. Let's don't give me any cheap buckets by us bailing them out, fouling a three-point shooter. Now, our intensity, right for the first four minutes, I'm going to be watching and see if we got great focus the first four minutes. You know how we're going to show them great respect? Stop playing on the not letting them get That's great respect for him and their team. Come on, let's go. 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 We together. One, two, three. Together. Shoots up the loose ball. Miami has numbers. In front for Durant Scott. On the drive, he scores and gets the foul to go with it. Beautiful bullet pass to Daquan Jones and his reverse is good along the baseline. What a pass by Durant Scott. Going to look away. Baseball pass one-handed. Drilled that one. Right on the money. Daquan, the reverse layup goes. There goes Durant Scott. Bullet pass down low. Reggie Johnson. Slam dunk from the right side. Good win. Uh, we, we, we're going to take some positives from this game because we won the game, and, and we played very, very well in the first half. Uh, but we, we, we had some moments where we, in the second half, where we were, and it was our defense. I think it started with our defense. Uh, you know, we just gave them some easy shots. We're not contesting the way we were in the first half. Uh, we didn't rebound the ball uh, like we did in the first half. Um, I mean, they had only two offensive rebounds in the first half. They ended with 10, and they got about a bunch of those on two possessions. Uh, but we we got to get back, got to understand how we got scrapped for 40 minutes. Uh, we built ourselves a big lead, and thank goodness for that. But we understand, let's, let's take a lot from this game. Let's learn from this game. Let's, let's get better from this game. Three together. One, two, three. Yeah. yeah. An excellent inside look at University of Miami basketball. A big win against Ole Miss. I'm ready to play now after watching that. I, li I like what I saw right there. We had a lot of good activity. Reggie Johnson inside working. Durant Scott uh, moving the basketball, penetrating. It was, uh, it, was a, it was a nice effort against Ole Miss early in the season. There's no question uh, that first half was probably about as good as we could play. Uh, the second half, obviously, you know, Ole Miss came back. And they're, they're a good team, so they played well in the second half. We didn't play as good. But we did finish the game well. So, uh, but it was a great game. There's a lot of guys that, that did a lot of good things, and it was something we could build on from that game. Got a long way to go this year, Coach. Your team's been involved in a lot of tight games. No question they're going to, going to be battle-tested at the end of the year. Yeah, we, you know, our RPI strength of schedule early in the year was very good because we played teams like Ole Miss, West Virginia, and Memphis, and Rutgers uh, as we begin to get in league play. So there's no, no doubt in my mind our guys are battle-tested. All right. Can I, either one of you guys bowl? I'm half decent. Half your, decent. How are your bowling skills, Coach? I have no skills. No <laughs> skills in bowling? <laughs> no. I don't think I do either. We hit the bowling alley coming up next here on Hurricane Game Day. When we return, we take you basket bowling with the squad and its fans. Can you say gutter ball? Welcome back to Hurricane Game Day here on CSS. Coach, I am Earl Anthony Jr. when it comes to bowling, at least in my own mind. So are some of your players. Every season the team has a meet and greet with boosters and its fans. It's called Basket Bowling. Second place? No, no, I, you know, I, I, I watch everything. Yeah, kind of like evaluate, evaluation. Malcolm is the best talker. There's no way he's the best bowler. He's got a little bit of dance skills, too, some dance skills. This is my man, Tickets. 
Rafael, say what's up to the people. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? All right. And uh, Rafael, let the people know where you're from. I'm from Nigeria. Lagos, Nigeria, actually. Oh, yeah? Ticket. The story of tickets. We have a game in New Jersey this year. We're playing Rutgers. That is a home game for me and Duran Scott. So I go to Rafael. I said, Ralph, can I have some tickets for the game? He goes to me. He says, tickets? What is tickets? So I say, Ralph, we get tickets for the game. May I have some? He said, there is no tickets. So that's why his nickname is Tickets. Huh? Hi. How you doing? Good, everything. Everything all right? Yeah, everything good. good. Gotta go watch my daughter bowl. You ready? All right, come on, Bree. All right, hold on a second. When I say let it go, let it go. Hold on. Ready? Let it go. Any chance of a... Oh! Nice try. Mace, you want to bowl one? Yeah. Wait a minute, let me show you how to do it, Mace. You ready? You got to push it down. Any chance... Oh, come on back. Good try, Mace. Mace, my man. Julian Gamble, how's everything going? Everything's going good. You look mighty going. sharp. You got the little rosary on. Appreciate it. How, how you been bowling tonight, fella? I've been bowling really solid. Uh, my last bowl was a strike. Okay. Now, who's looking like the worst bowler in your opinion? By far, it's looking like AT. He has eight through five frames, and okay. that's really bad. AT, and if, if you don't know, Adrian Thomas has been here for 17 years. He's, 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 he's been through it all. So we, we're going to go check him out right now. Follow me. Uh, Adrian Thomas. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my guy, Adrian Thomas. This is who we call the godfather. Uh, he's been through it all. And uh, AT, how you been bowling tonight, fella? We had a couple strikes, you know, oh, a couple, couple gutter balls, you know. Well, the word is that you didn't have any strikes, so are you lying to the, all the people? I am not lying. You can check the score right now. Okay. Uh, if you want to do that, go and do that. Well, I asked Julian Gamble. He says you are by far the worst bowler on the team. That's a lie. Let's go to Ryan Brown. This is the freshman. He looks like a baby. We call him Rose. We got uh, flash screens all over the place. We got great food. That's my man Trey right there. Let's, let's go see who Trey is doing. This is my favorite lady right here. I love her to death. She's so cool. This is my little man Ian right here. Ian, go ahead. Go bowl for me. I'll be back in a minute, all right? This is for you right here. Yeah, I'll be back. <laughs> what is that? Why you turn sideways? You can't turn sideways and roll the ball. You got zero. Check some of the food out right here. I'm pretty sure Big Reds ate all of that. Excuse me, I don't mean to interrupt anything like that. I just want to see how you're doing. Coach, how's everything? Everything's great. Everything's great. Everything's great. Watch your guy Reggie Johnson's technique. OK. That's impressive. What you do? Yeah. This is our guy right here, Dr. Page, great guy. <laughs> Takes care of all of us. Anything's happening, you know, we go see him, and he gets it done. We got to talk to my guy right here. I mean, I love this guy a lot, man. I don't know where I would be without him. How's everything going? Malcolm, everything's great. How are you? Let's see what Big Reggie is doing. Now, he has, he has big hands, and he's getting the smallest ball. Oh my gosh, did you, ladies and gentlemen, did you just see that? That was terrible. This is Trey McKinney, uh, he's a transfer, he's a great player, he will be playing next year. McKinney Jones, he has five names, but we try to shorten it and just call him Trey. Justin Heller, Justin, come here Justin. Don't try to run. Are you doing good? Got a strike, but uh, not doing so good. Not doing so good? How's everything? What's your name? Ryan. Ryan? Are you having a good time tonight? Yeah. My technique is what well, I like to do. I like to make it spin. This right here, when he first got this, this was supposed to be a mohawk. But right now, I don't know. I, it looks like a chia pet up there. I don't know what this is. Can you explain to the people what type of cut this is? It's kind of a fade, you know? Like, do you see a house party? Uh, I see a house party. That doesn't look like a fade, sir. <laughs> Coming from Spitzville, this is Malcolm Grant. I had a great time. I hope you all had a great time with me and my teammates all the coaches, and uh, you know, coming back to you in the studio. Okay, we had a lot of fun, we raised a lot of money, and we found a new host for the show, obviously. Yeah, your job is yeah, up. In jeopardy. I mean, there's, there's no doubt that Malcolm <laughs> is, is he's waiting for this position. <laughs> I'm, I'm nervous. I feel like I just got cut. <laughs> I'm not on the team. Plus, do you see the way he coached up his daughter? Nice try, Brianna.
Yeah. See ya. <laughs> Coach speak always. Well, but this uh, that kind of typifies your team, how much fun they have. Uh, they enjoy being around each other. It's important to have that kind of chemistry. It is. And, and you know, it, it's amazing how they correlate. If, if the guys get along well off the court in terms of playing well on the court, and they, they do have a great relationship off the court. And I think those guys have that family feel, that, that brother feel in terms of just, uh, just hanging out with each other. And that's, that's great to see. Now, we did meet Adrian Thomas. I don't know if he's been here 17 years, but he's been here for six. Uh, talk about his, uh, you know, he's had a, an interesting journey as a local kid. He's had to overcome a lot, and, and he's an important part of this team. Yes, he is. Uh, you know, he's had two season in injuries uh, that allow him to be here six years, and he was fortunate enough the NCAA grant him an, an extra year. Um, Adrian has really kind of molded his game. You know, he became here as an athletic wing slasher, and he's become one of the best three-point shooters in the Atlantic Coast Conference. So, uh, very proud of it, Adrian, and uh, you know, the, as you can see, he's got a great personality. He's great with the guys. All right, we've had a lot of fun on the show so far, and when we come back, we'll take a look at what's on the horizon for the University of Miami basketball team as we continue on Hurricane Game Day right here on CSS. Welcome back to Hurricane Game Day here on CSS. And welcome back to the Frank Cates Show, coach in the middle of ACC play. And uh, coming up for you, a couple of important ball games. Back on the road at Virginia Tech, tough place to play. Um, you have won there in the past, but Virginia Tech is on the horizon. They're playing very well. Uh, they're playing great defense. Um, you know, Coach Greenberg has got those guys just uh, playing extremely hard, which they always do. Uh, but it's a tough place to play. Probably the toughest place to play in our league. And, we have one there. Uh, it, it will be a task that uh, will be challenging for us, but I think one that I think our guys, in terms of uh, our games against Virginia Tech, our last two games we played pretty good games. Coach, uh, they've got two really high-quality players in Malcolm Delaney and Jeff Allen, who've been there a long time. So he certainly, Coach Greenberg, has two veteran players he can really build and, and, and lean on. Yeah, two seniors, been around a long time. That uh, inside-outside punch. Uh, you know, Malcolm's is starting to hit, hit stride right now. I think he got off to a slow start this year, but he's starting to play his best basketball. He's one of the best guards in this league. And then uh, Jeff Allen's just been a, you know, he's been a guy that's been able to score in the paint. Uh, uh, you know, he's added some stuff to his game away from the basket, but just two tremendous players. And next week, two important home games, back-to-back -back Georgia Tech and Virginia. Yeah, very important games. Uh, you know, obviously you want to protect your home court in this league if you have a chance to get in the postseason, which is what we want to be in postseason. And uh, so February and March are extremely two big months, and that those two games that lead us into Mar uh, February are very important to us. Love to see uh, big crowds for those two games, Georgia Tech and Virginia so far. The crowds have been really good at the Bank United Center. A lot of enthusiasm from the students as well. Joshua, good job. Coach, see you next week. Thank you very much. That is going to do it for the show for Coach Haith and Josh Darrow and the entire crew. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you next week right here on Hurricane Game Day on CSS. All right, now let's go get loose. Come on. Come on. Effort and energy. Let's go. One, two, three. Let's go, baby. Let's do it. Guys, it's simple. Let's make it a dog fight.